Hi everybody. Within the previous videos, we mentioned the three ways that we can pass the blood brain barrier. The first one was inhibiting the function of the polyglycoproteins. The second one was using the cell penetrating peptides. And the third one was the T cells, which make a hole in the endothelial, in the endothelial cells and pass the blood brain barrier. As the final strategy, we want to say how we can design the nanocarriers which can cross the blood-brain barrier. Okay, if you remember, we said that there are some transferins expressed on the surface of the uh, endothelial cells. And if the molecule which wants to pass these, these uh, blood-brain barrier has something which likes this transferrin and binds to it, it will undergo a receptor mediated uh, endocytosis, you know, the transcytosis. Now let's see how it can work for the uh, nanoparticles. Here you see that we have, an, uh, we have a nanoparticle which uh, has been uh, accommodated and equipped with some monoclonal antibodies okay these monoclonal antibodies have the affinity towards the transferring that I mentioned which are expressed on the cell uh, surface of the endothelial cells okay and help us to undergo the transcytosis and cross the blood-brain barrier well one of the nanoparticles which were discovered uh, somehow by chance are the cyanoacrylate nanoparticles, the polycyanoacrylate nanoparticles. These nanoparticles uh, were used before and just by chance they realized that they can cross the blood-brain barrier and most of it uh, was found in the brain okay and the reason was due to these apoe proteins let's see it here when these nanoparticles are introduced within the body the apoe or apolipoprotein is is observed on the surface of these nanoparticles of, of these cyanoacrylate nanoparticles as you see here okay and these will announce the passage through the blood-brain barrier you see here we have used the twin AT the uh, surfactant to increase the colloidal stability of these nanoparticles. From here we want to have a look at some of the examples which have used the uh, poly, let's say, uh, butyl uh, cyanoacrylate nanoparticles, okay, uh, to cross the blood-brain barrier uh, and their application. In this slide, it says that if we use the fluorophores alone into the mouse brain, they cannot cross the blood-brain barrier. But by using these nanoparticles, polybutanyl cyanoacrylate nanoparticles, they can cross the blood-brain barrier. Let's have a look at this slide. You see here when dextron uh, you know, dextrin is a type of a polymer, is used alone, uh, they cannot cross the blood-brain barrier, but by the use of, again, these nanoparticles, they can be found within the brain tissue. Again, here it shows that the trepan blue, it's, it's a sort of a fluorophore, when it is used by PBCA again it crosses the blood-brain barrier and the as you see here the 
a fluorescence phenomenon is more announced while here they cannot pass and it is not announced in this slide you see the use of these PBCA nanoparticles for the immunoassay uh, which binds the antibodies to these nanoparticles and recognize the you see here the floor for the fluorescence phenomenon is still is again increased here we have used the uh, PBCA nanoparticles with the gadolinium as an as an MRI contrast agent and by using these again you see that we are getting more signals and the most important thing for this slide is that you see uh, by the use of the PBCA nanoparticles for crossing the blood-brain barrier uh, the tight junctions and the endothelial cells are still intact it means that they are still uh, in their initial form they haven't been damaged okay but uh, apart from all the strategies that we mentioned for increasing the permeability of drugs and uh, uh, other molecules for fluorophores and etc we have to mention that even uh, now the concentration the final concentration of the drugs uh, that can uh, cross the blood-brain barrier is too low okay just imagine that we accommodate we load a limited uh, amount of drugs on the surface of nanoparticles or into their cores and so the drug is limited okay and even a limited amount of those nanoparticles can cross and reach the brain so limited and limited again so just imagine that the final concentration that can reach the blood can reach the brain is too low well we're done with the bio uh, with the bio barriers now and for the next series of uh, videos we will continue maybe with the uh, polymers